Hello everyone, myself Michael Ravina, Associate Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering. The subject is CS3492 Database Management Systems. The unit is Advanced Topics. The topic is No SQL Database. No SQL Database is a type of database management system that is designed to handle and store large volume of unstructured and semi-structured data. Unlike traditional relational database that use tables with predefined schemas to store data, no SQL database use flexible data model that can adapt to changes in data structures and are capable of scaling horizontally to handle growing amounts of data. The term no SQL originally referred to non SQL or non relational database, but the term has since evolved to mean not, not only SQL as no SQL database have expanded to include wide range of different database architecture and data model. No SQL databases. The no SQL database are generally classified into four main categories. First one is the document database. Second one is the key value store. Then third one is the column family store. Then fourth one is the graph database. First one is the document database. Document database means these databases store data as semi-structured document such as JSON or XML, any format and can be queried using document-oriented query languages. Then second one is the key value store. These databases store data as a key value pair and are optimized for a simple and fast read-write operations. Then third one is the column family store. These database store data as column families which are sets of columns that are treated as single entity. They are optimized for fast and efficient querying of large amount of data. Next one is the graph database. These database store data as nodes and edges and these are designed to handle complex relationship between the data. Futures, features of no SQL database. First one is the dynamic schema. Then second one is the dynamic schema means no SQL database do not have a fixed schema and can accommodate changing data structure without need for any migration or schema alterations. Then second one is the horizontal scalability. That means no SQL databases are designed to scale out by adding more nodes to a database cluster, making them well suited for handling large amount of data and high levels of traffic. Then third one is the document based. Some no SQL databases such as Mongo database use document based model where data is stored in a semi structured format such as JSON or BSON. Next one is the key value based. Key value based means other no SQL databases such as Redis use key value data model where the data is stored as a collection of key value pair. Next one is the column based. Column based means some no SQL database such as Cassandra use the column based data model where data is organized into columns instead of rows. Next one is the distributed and high availability. No SQL database are often designed to be highly available and to automatically handle node failures and data replication across multiple nodes in a database cluster. Next one is a flexibility. Flexibility means the developers to store retrieve data in a flexible and dynamic manner. Then next one is a performance. The performance it gives high performance and can handle high volume of reads and writes making them suitable for big data and 
real time applications advantages of no sql advantages are high scalability that means the uh, use sharding for horizontal scaling partitioning of data and placing it into a multiple machines that is high scalability next one is the flexibility flexibility means it handle unstructured and also semi structured data so it is flexible high availability means auto replication feature in no sql make it makes it highly available next one is the scalability scalability is uh, highly scalable which means they can handle large amount of data and traffic with ease next one is performance it handle large amount of data traffic data and traffic which means they can offer improved performance compared to other traditional approaches next one is the cost effectiveness cost effectiveness no sql database often more cost effective and then traditional relational databases are typically less complex the next one is agility that means ideal for agile development disadvantages of no sql no sql has the following disadvantage lack of standardization lack of acid compliance narrow focus open source because this is a open source database so there is no reliable standard for no sql next lack of support for complex queries next a lack of maturity a lack of man lack of, uh, next management challenge management challenge means the big data tools to make the management for a large database is this as simple as possible but it is not so easy so data management in sql is more complex than the relational database guy is not available guy mode uh, tool to easily access to the database and or uh, to not flexible available next one is the backup backup is a great weak point for uh, some no sql databases like da uh, other databases next large document size large document size means some database system like uh, uh, some other databases are comparing with store data in a json format this means the documentation is quite large next one is the types of no sql databases the types of no sql databases and name of the database falls in the following category first one is the graph database for example amazon neptune neo4j these are the example for graph databases next one is the key value store uh, the key examples are mcmade redis cogrens are the some of the example for key value store next one is the tabular tabular is the uh, big table accumulo this is the example for tabular document base document base means monogo coach db cloudant are the example for document base database key value store this is one of the simplest type of no sql type under this type the data is stored in the key value and it maintains in the form of same key value pass for each key there is a value is assigned to it each key is unique and accepts only string whereas the value corresponding to the particular key can accept string key value store maintains data as a pair consisting of the indexing and a key value document store document store or as an extension of the simplicity of key value store where the values are stored in the structured document like xml json or like this a document database is schema free you don't have a defined a schema for it to and adhere to it it allows us to store complex data in document format document database does not, do not support relations each document in the document store is independent column family data store or wide column data store wide column data store ha take a hybrid approach mixing declarative characteristics game of relational database with a key value pair and totally variable schema key value stores the columnar family database have their origins in google's big table according to the google's paper big table a big table is sparse distributor persistence multi dimensional sorted map 
next one is the graph databases graph databases specific purpose is to store graph oriented data structure this means in every node maintains yeah, contains a direct pointer to its adjacent element and no index lookup are necessary as the number of nodes increases the cost of the hub remains the same graph databases are optimized for traversing through connected data example traversing through a list of contacts on your social network to find out the degree of the connections this is the example for graph databases